Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we are intercepting a column of elite but depleted Russian troops looking to try and uh, bolster the garrison at Ayasi. Uh, however, they will not make it, and they shall be cut to ribbons. The garrison is marching to their aid, but I fear it will not save them. So let's take them on. We've got a lot of there's a lot of fighting that we can do uh, in this episode, and ultimately we've got a lot of uh, movement against the, the Russians that can be completed in Sweden, Central Europe, in the East. Things generally are going really well, and if we keep up the pressure, it won't be that long until everything cascades and. We're on to the last few episodes of of uh, the campaign fighting in the Americas. But anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have many, many more Russians to kill before we have to worry about the end of the campaign. Come on, let me in. Let me in, let me in. Fighting in the town. Not ideal. Drop my guns outside of the town. Something like that. Let's put a... Hindu musketeer line ready to skirt around the outside of the town. Put my melee troops in the town because they're going to try and push through. Supported by... Come on, get the... Get the Gurkhas in as well. Some detachments of ranged infantry will follow. Troops and cavalry on one flank. Some cavalry on the other. Mortars are going to fire a round shot at will. Elephants just stay out of the way for now. Interesting. That's where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. So let's... I want to push my Hindu musketeers forward aggressively. These men are going to form a new defensive line. Push the melee troops forward. They might actually do a frontal charge. Position the cavalry. Send my Sipahi forward to help support the attack against the the resupply column, the reinforcements. We don't want to wait too long because we don't want to give them the opportunity to overtly manoeuvre. The general is going to march into the town. My line infantry will deal with their line infantry. Their line infantry here is... It's dangerous. So let's slash, slam some of my melee troops into the fight. Slaughtering the 54th. Advance my line. I'm not worried about killing their general specifically. Their Oh, the reinforcement army hasn't pushed up yet. Let's push up so I can anchor my line against one of the buildings. Redeploy my cavalry. I mean, that's their, yeah, that's their infantry done for. Ride the cavalry in. they can deal with them. Those are elite Russian infantry, so we don't want to give them free reign to do what they like. Enemy cavalry is coming in. Oh, 
unlimber these guns. They may just soon skirmish to the edge of our musket line. The cavalry take out their infantry, this infantry squad here. Okay, just keep moving the line forward. We've shot the enemy general out of his seat. You're Kizobashi, so you can't actually form a square. Actually, you're okay. They're charging an area chock full of my melee troops. Charge them. The enemy has been annihilated. Bring out my infantry in support. So you just keep killing them. And they're going to escape. But we're going to have to focus our effort. Paddy, charge the Vibioni Streltsy. Swordsmen, go over there and help the Vibioni Streltsy. My heavy guns over here. Get over here. Mortars are still kind of useless, just cease fire. And there we go. The enemy cavalry is defeated. Position the melee troops behind the line. Come and kill the last of the 22nd. Go after the 16th. Advance and be recognized. You men smash the Bityerski regiment to foot. Push my melee troops forward because they're ready to respond. They're not in position. They're not going to get into position, and here comes my heavy cavalry. Excellent. Oh, they're broken. And they're actually routing through our lines, interestingly. Can you actually melee troops hold? Form our line. So you continue to slaughter that regiment. Let's get the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards out onto the right flank. You, meanwhile, are still killing some of the original Russian troops. Is it worth killing them? Nope, they're about to escape anyway. Push you guys forward. They're blasting us with shrapnel shot. Bring the general up. They're marching right down our muzzles. Brave souls. So you men reload. There we go. Engage. They're getting closer. Good damage. There we go. This Kizabashi unit's opening fire. They've formed square. No dervishes, no. One unit's broken. Another unit will be on the way. Deploy the cavalry against the enemy artillery. And then push up. Oh, the howitzers are mobile. Charge in because the militia are trying to intercept our 
cavalry attack. So focus on the howitzers because they're all in transit, easier to kill. And we do want to kill them. Okay, that foot regiment of foot artillery. Okay, the militia. Getting involved, you men engage. It's a different unit of militia coming in. Oh no, they're all routing. Yeah, damn right we're going to continue, although we likely will not kill all of the enemy because they're quite close to the edge of the map. Men collectively can kill a lot of militia. Many militia men. So these troops just get out of the way. Got a lot of guys actually there. When they when they bumped into that car, that really was a problem for them. So who's left? You guys. Now uh, you got him. Nice. That's a good amount of kills. So that reinforcement army is just annihilated. The garrison has been pushed back. How will you reconstitute your armies, Russia? The jaws are closing. I don't want to... Okay, let's just let them come in. I didn't want to intercept them. Because that would, I didn't want to fight it and I didn't want to auto-resolve and damage all of my units. Because one infantry army there will do about seven, 800 casualties, bizarrely. Because I've thrown, I would throw so many men in. Okay. New Spain is a bit of a concern. Looks like they're going after Quebec, which is fun. Nothing to do with me though, so that's nice. <clears throat> At some point we need to deal with Bavaria and Württemberg, but for now, we're okay. Come on, let me in, let me in. We want to get all of our building and upgrades done first, because we've, got, we've probably got a whole bunch of battles to fight this turn. And if I don't get that done, then the slide that tells me what has happened disappear. Works on striking Crimea. Unfortunate. Get back. I still don't like it. Let's build a madrasa. Okay, got some ships to move around. So you then go back to India. Place them on station. You men recover. So that's going to be two of these fleet arrives. Third is this fellow who is who is damaged. Get in and recruit or replenish. Bergen the Madrasa in the Madrasa noise upgraded upgrades. Yeah, my sword's got nine workshops because we've now finished all of our. We've learned everything there is to know. Everything worth knowing, we already know it. Okay. Com two commercial courts built. Yeah, that's those. Good, good, good. Good. Okay, so, you are the last troops needed for them. I mean, I don't need any more armies in Europe. We're going to start positioning armies in the Americas. Just a second. Sorry about that. Right, that army has been sent off. 
probably going to just stop recruiting really back here. It's just not really necessary. Okay. Still got a couple of armies back here who are holding down the fort, so to speak. It's like here at Cologne. A little bit grumpy, but they'll get over it. And over. They've got over it, but they're minus six. So see if we can replace them with this unit. Can you leave Norway? You can. Come south and finish off this army of Ruskies. You are going to push up and around this way. You are going to demand the surrender of Finland. I think we've got it. Yes. So my agent forward to try and assassinate this general. Looks like it's very... <clears throat> Looks like it's very much achievable. And we've got him. So let's move my agent back out so I don't forget. Recruitment process and lots of good stuff's been recruited. Down here in Georgia, this is really important. So you're going to go south, which I force your way across the river. You're going to head sort of north to here. And one army's going to go east. One army's going to go north. Let's, let's bring the thuggy back. Try and see if we can assassinate some of these Russian agents. It's got a lot of priests. I'm going to want to build madrasas. So I think there's two there and three more in Stavropol. So I don't, I don't care that, that the uh, assassinating is now going to count against me. I'm not that bothered. Okay, so first of all... Demand the surrender of Iassi. Well, we, we may end up fighting it, but what we can do is push our armies forward. Artyom Koptev, just... But then there's a thousand men! It's fine, though. Keep pushing east. Uh, yes, we have ports down here to upgrade. You go after that. Straggling Russian army. Keep replenishing and then push around. You keep replenishing and push towards Kiev. You push up. So you put... Okay, first of all, let's try and move. Uh, okay, so Transylvania's gonna kick up a storm. Let's recruit a unit of Tufangi. Because what I want to do is to siege this fort, but I don't think they'll let me in. You e man get ready to advance. So we have to fight these scallywags and force them eastward, back towards Vilnius. Let's put Yalgava under siege. Actually, is that army really weak? Because that's the garrison at Riga. In which case then, you're going to want to go siege Riga. Okay, let's put you guys to the north of Vilnius and siege it. The hope is if we can fight them and push them through this corridor here back towards Minsk. They won't, they shouldn't go south because I've got this fella here. You men advance from here, you men advance from here. I smack you into... Alexei Komiev. Yep, lots of lots of Russians coming in. But I don't believe it's going to be decisive for them. Let's take them out. Force them east. 
then we can continue. Well, my main thing is I want to keep pushing with a coherent battle line. Right now, those Russians behind my lines could cause quite a lot of chaos. So really, it is very much in my interest to grind them into the dirt and continue my eastward advance. So we've got multiple reinforcements coming in. And it is raining, which is lame. Drop my heavy artillery pieces. My bugged artillery pieces can also hang out. Let's form... Let's form one large defensive line until we understand the lay of the land somewhat. Something like that. Okay, we've got some reinforcements coming in on the right. I'm just get all my artillery to engage their cavalry. Their artillery doesn't bother me. It looks like some of their artillery is just... Some of this cavalry is just going to suicide itself right into the meat grinder. Open fire into the Bibiani Streltsy. Form square, because they have made it into combat. And this flank of men advance up the flank. You men engage that foot line unit, you men engage that foot line unit. Get some of our siege guns to begin engaging their not their artillery, but the formations hiding in the woods. Our elephants can advance. Warm square, dragoons, another enemy dragoon unit. Not sure where you're going. You go after Kizilbashi Musketeers. They may fire in time. Nope. Jump on them. My battle line in general is holding. Target, use my artillery to engage formations that are trying to resist. Elephants out of the way. You charge back in, so back into square. Although it is a weakened unit of dragoons, now they've already routed. Okay, let's focus some of a lot of our artillery over on the right. Advance the infantry. Okay, let's begin to engage their dug in positions. Riflemen scouts, breech loaders. Interesting. Too bad they will be ground beneath our heel. Not really letting the reinforcements... Well, we are letting the reinforcements get involved. Okay, let's... Let's anchor on the barn. My 
might spring again to push forward and threaten their, re their reinforcement axis. Elephants go for the line infantry. Bombard all these other units with my main artillery. The rifle and scouts are charging. Bold move. And these elephants are going for the, for the 122nd regiment. Let's push up my line again. Many casualties. Make sure that we are engaging them appropriately. But that's not good. So one of the reinforcing units is coming in right here. So they may get our heavy artillery, but they won't get our field pieces. Form up, shoot them. They've not hit my guns yet. There they are. There they go. So let's move some mercenaries as a blocking force. My heavy gunners just run. I'm hoping my Yes, I'm probably going to have to push my Kizilbashi in. Heavy gun crews just run. A large amount of the enemy force is running, however. General's bodyguard engage. Let me get rid of mercenaries. All my cavalry is engaging, the household cavalry should be okay. The light infantry has been hit by the elephants, so they should deal with them quite rapidly. Okay, let's make sure we are... I want to try and push this flank around a bit. So right now I've got a lot of firepower that I'm not optimally focused right now. If we can knock out these engineers. Okay, my elephants both engage. Cossack infantry. As the Cossack cavalry appears not to be overly interested. And there goes the militia. So you men reload. Excellent. The general has been killed. So let's push this line, or pull this line back a bit. So I can push with the others. Come on, knock out that regiment of engineers. Artillery's landing nearby. You fired your last volley. Now withdraw. Even if nothing else, advance to point blank range and you can get behind them. My other general, get up here. There we go. That's where they're coming in. Human 
whip around the flanks. Let's commit my cavalry. New man slam into the back of the militia. Excellent. We've turned their flank. Go for the horse artillery. You then engage the Cossack infantry. Now we're swinging our entire right flank around to outflank these guys. Provide a bit, bit of a better angle. Guerrilla mercenaries are engaging. This artillery is going to limber up. They pull back a bit. Let's get this general over here to try to help out. Pahi to flank around. You men have the militia here surrounded quite nicely. Our ammunitions state isn't terrible. Jump on the dragoons before they escape. You men charge the militia. No, you men go for them. You men get the guerrilla mercenaries. Because I'll actually flank around the back of these the militia. Okay. Shut up. Mercenaries got pulled, got pulled back. You men re deploy yourselves here. Okay, let's try. Kind of redeploying. Pull the cavalry back. Let's do it. Not the most optimal layout, but it'll do. Send this general in to smash the militia. So you are some garrison guards coming in. Pretty decent hats. I believe that might be the end of the enemies here coming in to, to reinforce. So you men just engage in your line. You men go after the... It's too fair. You men shoot at the enemy infantry. This general's bodyguard go after the artillery. Send the elephants to smash the militia and it's working. Hope was I could rescue my militia. My, my um, uh, mercenaries, but I don't think I'm going to achieve it. No, in which case, this general's bodyguard pull back. Okay, you men and limber. 
now they've unlimbered. Apparently the trend is once they've unlimbered, you men will redeploy. Canister shot the Cossacks. Excellent. Push on the right flank. You men can walk. Cleared them. Just fire a round shot of the militia. Oh, here comes my boosted Sipaki unit. Look at that. That's just so dumb. But I'll take it. Artillery canister shot of the militia. Because they're suicide charging in like the mad fools they are. They're being cut down. Good shots. Can we shatter them? Yes, we can. All that remains is this unit of garrison guards. And it looks like they too want a whiff of grape shots. So let's speed up time. I know it looked like they did. Shrapnel shot at 30 seconds. Because that's quite a good angle. Should be able to get some good kills. Because it's raining, we're getting... Oh no, they've shattered. Good. They thought they could throw us off by coming in on the flank. And they kind of did. Got a few there with caster shot. Nice. Still went quite well. Yeah, we need some... We need some new generals. So we managed to scatter them into the countryside, largely. New men can pursue and destroy Boroslav Andropov. If we bring in the other one, that would have been great. You're going to stay where you are. You're going to push up. You require a new general, and the musketeers did good. Gandalf Patel. Okay, so... You're going to just... He much auto-resolve that last battle. You are going to push towards Lviv. Push. Doki, got a lot of people on the move, although you still want to try and assassinate some agents. So I'm going to have to fight the IRC battle manually, because I do want to take it, um, but I don't want to auto-resolve it and damage all of my armies around me. This is going to be just a uh, human wave style attack. If you've seen any World War II movie with the Soviets, you know what's about to happen. Or any of my previous battles, actually, where I've got an overwhelming superiority. <laughs> but yes, sometimes that is the only way to uh, to achieve your aims in a, t in a timely manner, without uh, concern about casualties. Unless I do just get the opportunity to annihilate them with musketry. Which, with this battlefield, I may get to do. Let's do it. Witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational Indian army. Everyone fire at their fire at will. Just annihilated one building in front of us. Ironically, they are moving in from the direction that we have fewest actual infantry. I think they're still going after this particular unit of militia. 
think there's. Oh, I don't. I don't think they're gonna. They're gonna buy it. We have to do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, now they're pushing up, so we're gonna run our men to make sure we get into position first. Poor souls. You are going to have a terrible time. As soon as you get shot at by my guys, you're going to immediately want to break. Like that. Yeah, now you better run in. First regiment of foot, garrison lion. Here they come. Good hit. Not the best hits. And these guys reload. Artillery still coming in. Yeah, he does have that with this chaos really quite well. the uh, militia came back. You men push on with the melee infantry and the cavalry. Let's get all the artillery to focus on one target and see if we can make someone actually shatter rather than rout and then come back. I should go after you guys. Probably going after whoever they like. Mm, they're getting some cover from the buildings. Shuffling forward. Just out of range of trap was shot. Lucky swords. Push up and get engaging them rapidly. The building behind them is completely destroyed. So you men pull fire into the flank, fire like armed citizenry. to reload. Lots of muskets misfiring from the weather. The cavalry though is here. Sure, broken for the third time or so today. Go get him, cavalry. Go for the mercenaries, straight for the jugular. No formations, no nothing. Lance Cavalry. Killed the enemy general. A 
shattered the warriors. Charge on into the militia. On, on, you rascals! Charge! Come at you! No one's come back yet. So if we do end the militia, this is a victory for our forces in our Mysorean forces. And they're holding us off, but they cannot prevent their overall defeat. The longer they fight, the worse it's going to get. Because here come Gurkhas and Dervishes. You men may be tired. There we go. Hold your swords aloft. Your war cries will help win the battle from the distance. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Don't do that. That, that already took longer than I would have liked. Let's try assassinate. I always want to go for the guy that's the best. Let's maybe should go for the one we're more likely to get. Still didn't get him. Yes, sir. So ideally, I want you to siege them. I want you to siege them. You to siege them. You can go in and smack John Kadetsev. Kadetsev. I mean, you guys can threaten the next city. Let's destroy the seminary. Make sure the roads are good. Yeah, that was a heroic death of my general back here, but now he's alive again. Sieging. We own Finland. We're maneuvering here in the Balkans. Let's keep on advancing. Yeah, our agents are swapping. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to be delivered over to Crimea. At some point, Britain has to go, this isn't good. We need to fight them, otherwise they're just going to take over. But I fear they may not realise in time. Need to get more reinforcements over to Finland. Hmm, they're marching up to face off against us. Okay, you're going to need to deploy a lot of armies on lots of fronts. Have you got the economy to support that? Maybe you do. But they'll have sufficiently less economy than they used to have. Yeah, they are actually pouring lots of troops in towards Kiev. It appears they believe that to be their most valuable front. Oh, you're gonna... Ah. Uh, oh. Close. Oh, very close. Is that the garrison that they just ran through there? Or was that the army that I was that I would have liked to have killed? In between Lviv and the fort, I believe it's the one I would like to have killed. So Kiev was looking very, very vulnerable and they appeared to have fortified it immensely. Any forces they recruit in the Americas, I'm not bothered about, because they're probably going to be militia and native troops, which just aren't that great. Okay, security in the Don appears to not be a massive priority for the Russians, because they've, with that army moving out, they've given up. 
We are going to Sally from Stockholm. Let's do it. The army to the west has not marched into a position to be able to help them. They may be planning on resisting uh, once the city has fallen to try and get up to no good. But I don't think it's going to really work for them in the long term. We have two armies here ready to subjugate and secure the region. I mean, this turn would have been... That's quite a good chunk of Russian troops destroyed. So let's get it set up. So. Ooh. Although I've got no one... No, I've got no unit that can entirely sit in there. Which is unfortunate. I suppose the way to do it is pick this guy. Gun team. Two units. Gun team. Two units. Gun team. Two units. You've already been deployed, but then the Kizobashi can hold the other side of the house. Deploy melee troops behind each set of guns. Group the cavalry up on either flank. Good, good, good. Get my siege guns up on top of the wall. Up on top of the hill, rather. Just engage the wall, you men, shrapnel shot. Go for this line infantry guard unit, because they're close. You men also shrapnel shot. We'll go for the line infantry guard unit, because they are the elite unit. Fire. Good, one good hit at least. Oh my god, that's a load of good hits. I want my siege guns to go to work. Knocking a hole down through the wall. Ah, it started raining. That's why it sounds gone all rubbish. Who are you? Dragoons, guard, a cheval. Put my Kizobashi up front. You guys out of shrapnel range. You are not yet out of range. All of my gunners focus on round shot, focus on the line infantry guards. Hold fire. Are you ready? Oh, they're dismounting. That's nice of them. Ceasefire my light cavalry, bring my Sipahi forward, engage the guard a cheval. There we go, we've got the line infantry guards. You men both engage that section of the wall. Wanted to use my light infantry to engage the uh, to engage the uh, dragoons, but they don't want to let me. Apparently, they want me to mass on, mass on the guard of cheval. So you men, yes, we're turning this into a effectively a siege action. They want to stay inside their fort, which they've sent the Dragoons in, but it's not going to save their Garda Cheval. 
I mean, this infantry, you just get them up on the wall, I guess. Push my Islamic swordsman up here to spar with anyone that wishes to leave. Same with these Hindu warriors, really. For trap one shot. There we go, and that's the last of the dragoons gone. But the idea was my infantry can get up on the walls and just start shooting at people. They don't want to try and stop us. And that's what we'll do, damn it. They're shattered, so they're gonna run. This is a bit of a tactical blunder, isn't it? Well, I suppose not. Charging us out in the open would just allow us to annihilate, annihilate them with our artillery, so... Six of one, half dozen of the other, I suppose. Anyway, you men scale the walls. I don't know why you're going to try and run around and climb up here. That's not going to be faster than those right there. Excellent. Whoops. Here comes the re a regiment of horse. Fire at will active, so when they push out, they're going to get a volley of musket fire. Oh, it's a fire coming in. Actually, no, don't try and scale that wall, because we are trying to shoot at it. Get up there and secure the wall. You men secure the wall. My, my melee infantry are going in. You men can keep these fellows covered. Quick climb's not so good. That's not very bueno. So you men are going to run straight to the top of the gate. Party around here to engage the garrison militia. You men are going to be a bit strung out for the mean for the moment. Well, I say that. The cavalry in. get everyone in. Let's knock out this regiment of infantry, then we can also get in through this gate, because they've not defended any of them. Secure the gate. Militia unit outside of the wall. Oh, 
jump on them. Kizabashi, get up here, form up. There we go, now they're going to start pushing through the breach. Both of you men get the mounted cavalry. Get my Islamic swordsmen in, get everyone in. You men hack down the last of these damn cavalry. Yeah, there's a bunch of you guys just stood outside. That's not very cash money. Get in, Kizobashi, get in. Bashi, load and fire in your own time. They have placed stakes, so it could kill a few of my own men. Push in. Okay, kill the marines. Mercenaries kill the line infantry. So you men go after the provincial line because they're running around trying to be sneaky. Because we're actually just unloading on this formation. In. Kill the enemy general. We've broken through the enemies at the gate. Looks like it will soon be over. Push, push, push. Don't let them get away. You may engage the 18th. They're forming square, but they're soon going to break that square. Comes the Kizobashi. Charge the 18th, force them to break the square. Well, they broke it. So you got these militia, these militiamen that are left on the flank, but they too are gone. Yeah, they broke real easy once we got in. Sadly though, if this wasn't the last turn, we don't get the city because they... Uh... Chop. <laughs> We've almost got it. We almost got it. Looks like they are just going to continue wandering around. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it's decided to really start to chug during... A middle of a Russian turn. Maybe they're having an ex existential crisis on what they're going to do. Or more realistically, they're probably sending all sorts of small formations around the, around the place. Uh, opportunity to intercept. I, I definitely want to take it, because it means I can try and engage the garrison of Lviv outside of the town. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. 
and we'll see you next time for some continuing slaughter of the Russians. Cheers, everyone.